Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are learning this super great Drunken Granny Stitch. And the best thing about it, it's super easy for beginners. It looks complicated, but it's not. We're doing the exact same row every single time. So it's a pattern repeat of one row. So all you have to know is one row and you just keep doing it until it's a size you want. So let's get started. Today we're making the Drunken Granny. I'm just using this worsted weight for uh, Kenyan acrylic. It's similar to a craft yarn, just whatever you have on hand. Whatever you want to make your Drunken Granny with. It'd be great with cotton, bamboo, wool, whatever you have handy. It could even be done with scraps. So I'm just using this nice tangerine color. And if you hear some knocking, it's this little guy. So to get started, we want to do a slip knot and a starting chain. Our chain is going to be a multiple of five, so just make a slip knot and shrink it down. Put it onto your hook, and we're going to do a relaxed chain, so we're not going to correct the, the tension. If you have some bigger stitches, it's all right. So just grab your yarn and bring it through. Because we're doing a multiple of five, you can either count it out, count to 30, count to 100, count to 120, but because I'm just doing a sample, and or maybe if you're making a blanket and you don't know how many chains you need to make it, I just do it like this. I count to five, so I've already done one. So I go two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five five all the way along until my chain is the length that I want my uh, my piece to be. So because I'm doing a sample I'm just going to make it a bit longer. Three, four, five, one, two, three, oops, four and five. And now we're going to chain four. So we did multiples of five for this and now we're going to add four stitches. If you want to count to make sure this is a multiple of five, it's totally a good time to do it now. Or if you counted one, two, three, four, five, then you're pretty much sure it's multiple of five. So now do a chain four, one, two, three, and four, and into the sixth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's the sixth V underneath the hook. So we don't count the loop on our, on our hook. We count these little V's underneath. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and here is six. That guy is number six. So wrap your yarn and into the sixth chain down from your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go into the bottom part of that loop, so just on top of this little moon shape. You want two loops of that stitch on your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is our first double crochet. We are going to do three more. So wrap your yarn and go into the same spot. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. There's our two double crochets. And now again, this is our third double crochet. And here's our fourth. So wrap your yarn into the same stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our four double crochets all into the same stitch. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Wrap your yarn again and one more double crochet into the very same stitch. There's our last double crochet. So those are the building blocks we're going to be making the Drunken Granny out of. So wrap your yarn and now we're going to skip four stitches. So how you're going to count your stitches are just along the bottom of these of the V. So this is the first one we're going to skip, this little guy. So one, two, three, four into the fifth. So we're going to go into that one there. One, two, three, four into the fifth. We're going to work another building block. Wrap your yarn and into the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Push your hook into the bottom part of that stitch, getting two loops onto your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back and we're going to do a block. So that is four double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, chain three, one, two, three, 
wrap your yarn and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Oops. And working on the chain is a bit fiddly. It'll go a lot faster. This is the slowest it's going to be, so just bear with it and just get along, just keep working along your chain. So again, we're going to skip four. Remember to count that little guy in the beginning. One, two, three, and four into the fifth. Push your hook into the bottom part of that stitch, getting two loops on your hook, and build another building block of four double crochets. Here's two, three, and four. A chain three, one, two, and three, and one more double crochet. So it's looking like this if we were holding it properly or like that as we're working on it. And now keep working along your chain doing the same thing. So skip four, one, two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn into the fifth. Go into the bottom part of that stitch. One, two, three, four. Two loops on your hook. Four double crochets. Chain three, one, two, and three, and one more double crochet into that same spot. Just always remember that there you have a little stitch waiting for you in there. That's the first one. One, two, three, four, into the fifth, wrap your yarn, go in, getting two loops on your hook and build another building block. So our blocks are four double crochets, a chain three, and one more double crochet. So here's my fourth double crochet. Here's my chain three, and one more double crochet into the same spot. Now you have a couple stitches left, three to be exact. So at the end of the row, Wrap your yarn. We're going to skip two stitches, so skip one and two, and into the very into the third stitch or the very last stitch. Push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back. We're going to make one double crochet. So this is going to make a nice edge on our work. And that is the end of our first row. We've gotten that far. So chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work and into this first space and every space going along all these chain three spots we are going to be building another building block of four double crochets a chain three and one double crochet so here's my third double crochet my fourth chain three one two and three wrap your yarn and one more double crochet into that space so now it gets going a lot quicker because we're just going to be working into these spaces. We don't have to piddle around with any chain. Wrap your yarn and just jump over this whole bit here. Just jump over the whole thing. Just ignore it. Get into the next space and make another set of four double crochets, a chain three, and one double crochet. There's my four double crochets, chain three, and one more double crochet into the space. Wrap your yarn, skip, jump over all of this, all of those, those stitches, and into the next chain three space, we're going to make four double crochets, a chain three, and one double crochet. One, two, three chains, and my last double crochet. So now keep working your way along like that, and I'll meet you when you get to the end of the row. So now we're here. There's one more space over on this side, but we're going to leave it. That's not really a space for that we're going to be working into. So just wrap your yarn and go into the top of that, the top of the chain three. If you turn your work up, you can see your four, the four V's on the top of your double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four. And here is the top of the chain. That little V over there, that guy. So you can turn it up to look or you can just push it in this way. I just push it in over there and make one double crochet. So that is the edge of your work on this side and we're ready to turn and go back. And we're going to repeat this exact same row every single row, which is why this drunken granny stitch is so great and so quick and so amazing 
there is only one pattern repeat row for the whole thing. So that is the best thing ever. So chain three, one, two, and three, turn your work, and now build a shell into each of these spots going all the way over, and our shells are the same, so there are four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, a chain three, one, two, and three, and one more double crochet into the same space. So those are our shells. So keep going all the way along and I'll meet you at this edge. When you get to the end of the row, remember we're skipping over this, we're just gonna do one double crochet. So you can either turn your work up and look for those V's, one, two, three, four, and go into the fifth, or just ignore those double crochets and go into the top of that chain. So that's over the edge over there, just push your hook in and make a double crochet. So that is the edge of our drunken granny. On both sides, you'll see that it is lovely. And if you make a tight chain, or you crochet tightly, you could also use a bigger hook for your foundation chain. Another option for you. So if you're gonna keep going with this color, you just do your regular chain three and turn your work and keep going along. If you wanna change your color, I would change it here. So I've just finished my double crochet. I would chain one to secure my yarn. Oops. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug this down to secure. Now I would just weave it into these back loops. I wanna weave it in over here because that's where I'm gonna be putting my five double crochets that can help pin it down. So I'm just gonna bring it over just loosely, I don't wanna do it tight, I just wanna get it through the back loops and over here so I don't have to sew it in too much later. You can always just sew it in later and join your yarn however you want to. This is just the ultimate in laziness for me. It's a bit fiddly now, but I prefer it to the stress or the task of having ends to weave in. And now, so I've woven it around just the back loops. I'm gonna take it back this way. So just hook in from behind, bring it through, stretch it out, and hook in from the front to bring it back to the front. So now it's laying along this, this space twice, and it won't stretch out. When I finish going over here, I can cut it. So now I'm gonna get my new yarn color. So I'm gonna join into the same spot. I'm not turning my work, I'm just gonna push my hook in to the top of that double crochet. It's a bit bulky because we did a chain one. Loop of yarn on my hook, bring it through, and slip stitch with both to join. Now I'm gonna drop my tail. This one we're gonna have to sew in and do your chain two. So I'm counting this join as my first chain of the chain three, but if you join your yarn in a more traditional way, then you would do a chain three. Turn your work, and now we're going to do our block into this first square. So that is four double crochets. A chain three, one, two, and three, and one double crochet into the same spot. So there's our first block with our new color. And now just work your way along as we always have been and change your color whenever you feel like it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for the Drunken Granny. 